Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back. So I've been getting a lot of questions, um, not on my YouTube, but on like the subreddit and also on on uh, on Facebook as well. Um, and also on like uh, another subreddit where I actually post this stuff about this game. Um, I've been getting questions about, about how to actually get access to the game for people that are living in the US. Um, you know, like they, they all said that the game wasn't available and I actually found that out. I didn't think it was, uh, it was the, that was the problem, but I found out that the game actually is, is region locked. It's for, for United States and uh, I think North America in general. I'm not sure about Europe though, but you can, if you're living in Europe, you can do the same exact thing that, that I'm about to teach you right now. Um, so when I first downloaded the game or when I first got, uh, first tried to access the game. I wasn't able to find it in the Play Store. Um, I actually had the link to to it in the Play Store, and I wasn't able to download it. Um, and that the reason was because my account actually actually I'm not living in Taiwan right. Or I'm, I'm I'm living in Taiwan right now. I'm not living in the U.S. So um, you know it's not IP locked, but it's it's locked for your Google account because my Google account is U.S. based. So I tried to log into the Google Play Store. Um, using my Google account. On this Nox player, I, I have two emulators open right now. This one is Nox and this one is called KO player. Um, for this account, for this 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 player, I'm logged into my um, you know my 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 Taiwan based account uh, for, for Google Play. And on this account is the one I use normally. I'm logged into my normal account, the one I, that is US based. Um, and if I if I go into the Play Store on this on this account, I will not be able to find Lineage Red Knights. Yeah, nothing pops up. Like this is the I don't know some some Korean guide thing for for Lineage Red Knights, but the actual game the actual game doesn't pop up. The actual game looks the icon should look like this this little guy. Um, I forgot he's he's a unit in the game. I forgot what what his name was called, but the the icon should look like him, and it should say Lineage Red Knights. It shouldn't be in Korean. So if I go into the Play Store on my Taiwanese based account, um, you know it's right here. I actually just searched it right now. I, I searched Lineage and it it literally just came out like right here. And I'm able to you know install, open the game, do everything I want. Um, and yeah, I think uh, most of you guys probably figured it out now. It's really really simple. All you, all you really need to do is go into your settings and um, and. Uh, er, I think you add account, right? Do you add account? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you actually you can't add account. You have to actually log out of your account. Like for um, for Google Play, it doesn't actually save like save your account. I think the easiest way is probably to do this. I'm gonna I'm gonna test it out once. All right, here. Um, the thing you want to do is you go into your apps. You go to your Google Play Store. You clear the data. And then now when you go into the Google Play Store, it should ask you um, which account you want to log into. Yeah, yeah that, that's right, that's right. So all you really need to do is um, you go into your, your system. And obviously this is an emulator. This is not on an actual Android, but your actual Android should look very, very similar. Um, you add an account. You add a brand. You add a Google account. If you don't have one, create one. Make a new Google account that isn't US based. Um, probably base it off in Asia. I think Asia is definitely safe. Base it off Taiwan. Taiwan, I know, is a hundred percent safe. Um, you can you can definitely make it work if you base a base a Google account off Taiwan, um, and then you you log in with an existing account that is um, that is from Taiwan, and yeah, and then you should be able to access the Play Store. You just basically when you go into your Play Store, um, you can choose which account you want to actually use, and it's frozen. All right, I give up. Uh, anyways, that's the easy way to do it. Um, if you want to, if you have multiple devices and you don't want to do this on every single device, I'm going to teach you also how to export the APK and then you can transfer it to other devices. If you have another tablet, obviously this is only for Android. I do not know how to use iOS at all. Like I, I don't have a single device that is, um, that is like, you know, I don't have an iPad, an iPhone. I don't have any iOS based devices. I have no idea how to, how to actually, uh, Use iOS, but at the very, very least, if you use an if you use an Apple device, um, you can still download an emulator and play the game on an emulator um, at home when you're when you're bored and shit. So, you know, I can obviously at the very, very least do that. 
There's, there actually is another problem. Um, if your device, like if your device is based off of a, another country where they, they have separate servers, there's actually three main servers for Linux Red Knights. Uh, there's a there's a Korea server, there's a Taiwan server. I think they made a separate Taiwan server because they think there's a lot of people in Taiwan that's gonna be playing this. Um, and they play they made a a just a Asia or global server or whatever, like just everybody else, alright? Um, and I'm playing on the server that's for everybody else. And the, the way the game chooses the server is based off of your device. Um, if you have a device that is like in for, I don't know, if you somehow got your device in Korea or in Taiwan, um, when you log in, you might not be able to find the the server that is for for um, for Asia in general. Like the one for for Asia in general, they speak English and stuff, so definitely play on that one if you speak English. Um, but it, you're you might not be able to access it. One way to get around that is to root your device and change the region. I haven't done that on my tablet, um, but I, I've tested like on my phone that because my, my phone is Taiwan based, and uh, when I log in, it go, it logs me into the Taiwan server, and when I log into to it on on my emulator, which is pretty much the only way I play this game. I don't really play it on my on my phone or anything. Um, I, I pretty much just play it on my emulator. Um, it's it's it goes to the, the, the global server or the Asia server. Uh, so keep that in mind as well. Um, what's the next thing? Alright, so I'm going to teach you how to back this up. This is pretty simple. All you really need to do is you need to download an app. Um, any, any app will do. Like There's a million of these apps. This one is called Android Backup and restore, I think. Um, and you just basically you back up the app. You go, you back it up. Like you just click the app. Um, you find the app, and then you back it up. And then it should it should be saved like as as an APK file um, on onto your your Android or your phone or or your emulator. Um, and you need a separate. You need, actually need a separate program to to actually get this this APK file, like to extract it out of your phone or take it out of your phone. Obviously, you can if you ha if you have an actual phone, you can just link it to your PC, find the file on your phone, and just drag it onto your PC. Um, another way is to use this 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 app I found called Air AirDroid. It's basically a transfer app. It transfers um, stuff from your device on straight onto your computer. You need to install this app on your phone and install the the program on your computer and have it running at the same time. Uh, once you have it running at the same time, you log into the same account and you just basically transfer it onto your your phone. It's very very simple. Um, yeah, fuck. Okay, I give up. This is this is too too fucked up. Anyways, I already have it. I already have it. Um, Extracted. It's right here. APK file. It's on my. It's on my PC. I uploaded this to Mediafire, so I'm gonna include a link below for um, for anyone that's like too lazy to do any of this and just wants the APK file. I can I can provide that. You can just go on Mediafire and download it. I think in the future I'm gonna be doing this every single time that the game makes an update, like an update where you have to go into the go into the Play Store and and you know update the game. Um, I'm gonna make an, a new APK file. And I'll leave that on my Discord because I I have a lot of stuff on Discord like a lot of a lot of crazy illegal shit on my Discord. All right, I don't, I don't know if it's legal like shit like scripts and like and like um, macros and shit for for like automatic farming and stuff. Um, I have a lot of that shit on my Discord, so that I I don't actually just like I'm too afraid to share that with out in public, but I still want to share it with people. So I guess I just I just put it on my Discord where it's um, less likely for people to 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 find it and, and ban me and shit. Um, so yeah, if you if you want access to a lot of that stuff, definitely go on my Discord. I'll, I'll I I have it um, pinned on the side. Actually, I, I can open my Discord right now. I'm not sure if I pinned it, but I exactly pinned the pinned the the post where I where I linked the APK file on my Discord. Shit, better not click on Lu Chan. Don't want this. Don't want this uh, YouTube video to get banned. Automatic mouse and keyboard. All right, ne never mind. Uh, that's that's actually for something else. Yeah, this one, this one. All right, I, I should probably pin this post. All right, this is the link to the media fire for the Lineage Red Knights APK, and this is the date that I up exported the APK. Um, 2016, December 8th. 
uh, the, the day that the game was actually released. Alright, so that's that's pretty much it. That's all all I need to share with you guys. Um, you know, obviously, if you if you guys are like really really lazy, just click and just click the um, just click, click, I'll I'll link the actual APK, the Media Fire link below, um, and then you guys just can can just click that and download it. Okay, that's pretty much it. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you guys for watching. And if you have any questions, definitely ask me, and I'll. I'll try my best to help. I'm not. I can't guarantee to to solve absolutely everything, but I'll I'll definitely do my best to, to see if I can um, help you get through it. So yeah, that's that's pretty much it. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.